hello friends i welcome you in lecture number 20 on basic probability today we are going to discuss this question about probability which was asked in gtu summer 2020 exam this question is simple application of conditional probability so we just recall the definition of conditional probability suppose event a has occurred first and b is another event which depends on the occurrence of a then the probability of event b given that a has occurred is known as conditional probability and is given by this formula probability of b given a equal to probability of a intersection b divided by probability of event a which has occurred first and this is valid if event a has occurred that means probability of a is positive so with this definition in mind uh, we can try to answer this question a market survey was conducted in four cities to find out the preference for brand a shop the responses are shown below so these are the results of some survey uh, which was done to decide the preferences of different people from four cities that is how many people are uh, preferring brand a shop how many people are not preferring brand a shop and how many people are neutral that is they are not giving the opinion so there are four cities here delhi kolkata chennai mumbai and uh, these are the list uh, these are the numbers of consumer or persons uh, who has preferred brand a so uh, it is shortly written as yes yes means this many people preferred brand a similarly no means this many people or consumers uh, did not prefer brand a and no opinion means these are the number of persons who has given no opinion so we can see that Uh, from city delhi there are 45 people who preferred brand a similarly 55 consumers from kolkata preferred brand a so this this is the way how we can interpret this uh, table so this is the survey conducted in four cities to find out the preference for brand for brand a shop and using this uh, survey we have to answer these two questions first one is what is the probability that a consumer preferred brand a given that he was from chennai and second is given that a consumer prefer brand a what is the probability that he was from mumbai so you can have the idea that here we have written the word given that so this is the conditional probability there are two events here given that person was from chennai what is the probability that a person or a consumer preferred brand a so this event is given and we have to find the probability of this event and similarly here it is given that consumer preferred brand a then what is the probability that he was from chennai so here the event given is consumer preferred brand a and we have to find the probability that consumer was from mumbai so first what we can do is uh, we can find out the total row wise as well as column wise that will help us to decide this required probabilities so here if we make the total for first row then first row will give us the total number of consumers who preferred brand a and that total is 210 i have calculated this total similarly the number of consumers who who are not preferring brand a shop is 160 and the number of consumers who has not given any opinion are 20 and if we make the total here then we will have the total number of consumers Uh, which are involved in this survey so this is the survey of 390 consumers similarly the number of consumers in this survey from 
city delhi will be the total of this column total of this column will give us the number of consumers from delhi similarly this total will give us the number of consumers from kolkata and this total is the number of consumers from chennai and number of consumers from mumbai so total number of consumers are 390 so if you consider the sample space then the total number of outcomes are 390 uh, we have considered this survey for 390 consumers so 390 is the total number of consumers involved in this survey now if i want to find out the probability that a customer preferred brand a given that he was from chennai then i can assume the events i can assume that consumer preferred but brand a suppose i denote this event by capital a capital a is the event that consumer preferred brand a and i denote the event that consumer was from chennai suppose this event is denoted by c c is the event that consumer was from chennai so i am asked to find out the probability of event a given that c has occurred probability that consumer preferred brand a is event a given that he was from chennai is event c so by the definition of conditional probability i have to decide this probability using the probability conditional probability definition so i have to find out probability of a intersection c divided by probability of c similarly uh, we can see that here it is given that consumer preferred brand a so event a has occurred first and we have to find the probability that consumer was from mumbai so suppose capital m denote the event that consumer was from mumbai then here i have to find out the probability that consumer was from mumbai given that he preferred brand a so for this i have to decide the probability of m intersection a divided by probability of m so here i will define two events a c and m a is the event that consumer preferred brand a c is the event that consumer was from chennai and m is the event that consumer was from mumbai and after that i can decide the intersection of uh, a and c and a and m and uh, uh, i have written all these things systematically first i have written this table with row wise and column wise total and i write that capital a denote the event that consumer preferred brand a c is the event that consumer was from chennai m is the event that consumer was from mumbai now what is probability of a a is the event that consumer preferred brand a now there are total 390 consumer out of those 390 consumer uh, we have to decide the number of consumers who preferred brand a so that we can decide from first row first row is yes that is uh, this numbers are the consumers from different cities who preferred brand a so the number of consumers who preferred brand a is 210 so outcomes in favor of this event the consumer preferred brand a is 210 there are total 210 consumers who preferred brand a therefore outcomes in favor of this event R210 total number of outcomes are 390 therefore probability that consumer preferred brand A is 210 divided by 390 similarly we can decide the probability that consumer was from Chennai there are total 390 consumers and we have to decide the number of consumers from Chennai city so we can look at this uh, column this is the number of consumers from chennai city so if we make this total there are 100 consumers from chennai city so outcomes in favor of event c are 100 so probability of c is 100 divided by 
390. Similarly, M is the event that consumer was from Mumbai. So for Mumbai also, if we make total of these three numbers, then it is 100. So probability that the customer was from Mumbai is also 100 divided by 390. Now we will require the probability of A intersection C and A intersection M. First we decide the probability of A intersection C. A intersection C means the consumer preferred brand A and the consumer was from Chennai. So probability of A intersection C is equal to probability that consumer preferred brand A this is event A and consumer was from Chennai this is event C. So I have to decide the number of outcomes in favor of this event. I have to decide the number of consumers who preferred brand A as well as they are from Chennai. So I will concentrate on this column and for first row. First row is the uh, number, uh, first row gives the number of consumers who preferred brand A and this column gives the number of consumers from Chennai. So we can see at the intersection we have 6 0. So there are 6 0 consumers who preferred brand A and was from Chennai. So outcomes in favor of this event that consumer preferred brand A was and was from Chennai are 60. Therefore this probability is 60 divided by 390. Now similarly we have to decide the probability that consumer preferred brand A and he was from Mumbai that is probability of A intersection M. So I will look for first row and this column. This column is, is the number of consumers from Mumbai city and first row is the row which gives us the number of consumers who preferred brand A. So at the intersection of these two we have 50. There are 50 consumers who preferred brand A and was from Mumbai. So outcomes in favor of A intersection M that is consumer preferred brand A and was from Mumbai are 50 and total number of outcomes are 390. So we have obtained probability of A intersection M. So once we have understood all these things then required probabilities are easy. First probability in part A required is probability that consumer preferred brand A given that he was from Chennai. So this is the event A, this is the event C. So we have to decide probability that A given C by the definition of conditional probability this is probability of A intersection C divided by probability of C and we have obtained probability of A intersection C is 60 divided by 390 and probability of C is 100 divided by 390. So we have to divide this ratio by this ratio 100 divided by 390 and we find that we have 60 divided by 100 that is 0 0.60. So 0 0.60 is the probability that consumer preferred brand A given that he was from Chennai. Now second part is probability that consumer was from Chennai given that he preferred brand A. So this event is event M. Event M is the event that consumer was from Mumbai and this is the event that consumer preferred brand A. That means I have to decide the probability that M given A and by the definition of conditional probability this is probability of A intersection M divided by probability of A and we have obtained these two probabilities so we can simply put their values here. So this is probability of M given A by the definition of conditional probability, probability of M intersection A divided by probability of A, probability of M intersection A is 50 divided by 390 and probability of A is 210 divided by 390. So if I substitute these values here, 390 will cancel out. We have 50 divided by 210 that is 5 by 21 which turns out to be 0.23. 81. So this is very easy question but we have to take care, we have to 
uh, find out appropriate numbers related to required event or in favor of required event so best thing is we uh, decide from the question that which events we have to define so here i am required to find the probability that consumer preferred brand a given that he was from chennai so from this i have the idea that i have to define one event as consumer preferred brand a i have to define another event as consumer was from chennai similarly i have to define another event as consumer was from mumbai and then from this table we can find out the outcomes in favor of defined events and finally by using the definition of conditional probability we can simply answer this question so this is all about this session i hope you like it thanks for watching